Christ. Do you believe that the Lord Jesus can heal you? Are you saved? Are you saved? Have you been baptized? You did what you mean when you say you did. Are you still serving the Lord now? Yes. We'll praise the name of the Lord. The we'll glory be to the name of the Lord. Somebody give God praise. You wanted to say something this morning? We'll praise the name of the Lord. There is no secret to what God can do. I've seen someone came to this church. Let me testify. Move from in front of the box. And they had stage four cancer. In fact, the doctor gave them over to die. So when they came to the church, they came just to die. I'm telling you this because I want to lift your faith. And she come to church and she will sit right there. I prayed for her. God healed her of cancer. Right in the service. Not only did God heal her of cancer, she got pregnant. Not a baby. And I bless the baby. Her mom is here. Her mom is right there, Sister Williams. <laughs> so I'm not asking you but I know he's in you I know he is you just have to believe Courtney 550 if it's still home just take it down little if I said I'm going to pray for you and I am believing in God that he's going to heal you the Bible said when two come together and the green, we are more than two. And she's here with you. We are joining our faith together. And we're going to pray that God heal your body. Can you walk without the cane? Yes, I can. Sometimes. Okay. When I when I pray for you today, you're not gonna need the cane. Hallelujah. Wish I had some faith in it. I said when I pray for you today, you ain't gonna have no need for that cane. God is putting strength into your leg. He's touching your ligaments and every tissue. He's healing your spine. He's healing you for arthritis, blood pressure, and sugar, and everything that's attacking your body that you then have to be taking medication for. Medication after medication. I, 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 oh, Shia. I, I see a pantry full of pills and oh Lord. Oh shy. Pill after pill after pill after pill. But God gonna heal you back. When you go to the doctor and they give you the report, please come back and give us your testimony. So many times people come here and they're healing. They don't come back and testify. Shade, don't go too near to that box. Please come off it a little bit so you don't block the sound. Yes. Lift both of your hands, mommy. Don't throw it all away now. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm just going to ask you to hold your head back a little bit. Open up your mouth. Let the oil flow through your body. Close your mouth. Let the oil flow.
Pay attention here. Give it the oil. Give the oil. Give it to her. Give it to her. You have to be flowing in the spirit with me up here. Hold the mic. Hallelujah. Hey, let him go and buy with his mind. Go and buy with your mind. Go. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on.
Receive your healing right now. Oshaya. Receive your healing right now. Oshaya. Yapa. Otala Bahushe. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. I command cancer. Every cancer said. Cancer to be healed. HIV, I command HIV to be healed right now. Right now. Every infirmity be healed right now. Every sickness be healed right now. Mom, I'm gonna let you return to your seat and you're gonna sit in our chair. Oh praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Walk up to your seat. Shake the devil. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name. Praise the name of the Lord. The devil is a liar. to whichever church you go you have to let the light shine you can't let people tear down the church because of your lifestyle too quiet however I hear the Lord says alignment alignment we don't have the whole day but everything that is out of line in your body and in your life, God is bringing it into alignment. I prayed for you already one time, a couple of years ago. I won't talk about it. And God delivered you. And my wife laid hands on you when you received the Holy Ghost right on the spot. The same thing, God is going to heal your body. That no doctors have been able to understand. Every witchcraft that has been set against you, against your kids, every bottle that's been buried with your name, every vial, take off your shoes, take off all of your shoes. Every vial, every candle, there's a name that's coming up before me, but I can't call the name over the mic. Some people here know and know you. So I have to use wisdom. I might tell you in your ears before you go if the Holy Spirit let me remember. Lift your hands. Worship the Lord. 
as he heal your body, as he bring everything into a line. Give me a bottle of water. How much keys do you have? Three? Two? How they go? One boy, one girl? That's why when you go doctor, they can't find no All the tests, they are waste your money. Listen to me, don't do a next test. I waste your time. Any money you have, can't come jump into that church. A spirit. I see him in the house. And I will talk some things that he know in the house at night. Get up, bro. Should I, bro? Is what I'm saying making sense to you? Okay. I'm a real prophet. I don't have stupid things. I prophesy God show me. Listen, I, I, I need to do something. I'm going to ask you to lie down on the ground. Lie down on the ground. Sister Joan, move out the way, please. Move from there. 
Lie down. The school is up in the fire. Go. 
to Mandeville to see Roach. They have to pay $50,000 just to see. Another 50, he may tell him, and another 50. Those that come here, they come here for free. People come here from everywhere. People all take play and come here for you. We don't never ask for a dollar. God take care of me. So if there's any skeptic out there, let me clear it up. We don't do nothing for money. And we don't ask nobody for the dollar. So just in case that devil is telling you in your mind, I don't do this for money. The apostle said, your money and you shall perish. Now who's that lady that has the baby? Who's it? Who's it at the back? Who's it? Bring that chair. The Lord says I should use this chair today. Sit down. Praise the name of the Lord. She's requested prayer. How far along are you? Six, seven? Seven? <laughs>
excitement and this and that and all and none of that stuff. He just needs to be talked to, to be counseled, to be nourished, and to be loved. And I told him one of the things that messing him up is smoking. He has to cut it because his head can't manage that we, that grabber, can't manage it. So if you can monitor that, you'll be okay. Alright, what's his name? Where name my brother? Pops. Mana, see? See that? See what I'm saying? You just have to know how to relate and to deal. He's not crazy. Of course some yes, I know some. But we have to know how to deal with these type of things. As not to bring excitement and people and all. You have to know what to do. You have to use wisdom, brother. A lot of people are watching. You have to know how to do things. You can't deal, deal with things. You understand what I'm saying? So just listen what I'm saying and deal with it that way. If if there is any problem, he knows where to find me. Right? Hallelujah. So we'll take it from there. What a good service we've had. Come on, somebody get off here. Give God praise. 
Give God praise. Give God praise. You can pull out the chair. Give God praise. Amen. What a day we have had. Amen. I'm going to take myself. Uh, uh, I'm going to take myself out of the way. Praise the name of the Lord. And we're going to let our pastor come and stamp our approval in the service. As a pastor. Amen. I've been working to get. So come on and greet the church and say. And say something in Jesus name. Amen. Present to you our pastor. Lady Catholic. Put your hands together. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. I just want to greet the Spirit of the Lord this afternoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just want to thank Him for His presence. Hallelujah. We just want to thank Him for taking us here one more time. It is not the good that we have done to deserve to be here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. But we just want to give Him the honor and the glory that belongs to Him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Um, I just want to encourage somebody this afternoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. You remember the story about the woman with the issue of blood. Bless the name of Jesus. And that woman, I believe, she was struggling for so long. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And as I remember the story about the lady, I was watching TikTok. And I saw the lady about the donkey. Bless the name of Jesus. And when I was watching the lady in Manchester, bless the name of Jesus. The lady, bring me in mind of the lady with the issue of blood. Bless the name of Jesus. The lady was saying, I want a donkey. And my prime minister got to give me a donkey. Bless the name of Jesus. But she was saying she wanted a donkey, but she not just said she wanted a donkey. I remember watching you know, our post, bless the name of Jesus. She heard that her prime minister was coming and she was at the, in the bush at her farm and somebody called to her and said, listen, your prime minister is such and such like in the square. And she said, the lady said, the prime minister coming 10 o'clock. And she said, when she looked, it's four minutes to 10. She said, social media she said tick tock you know how far the bush there from in the square with the prime minister but two minutes that the prime minister promised me the donkey bless the name of jesus she said by the time she reached up at the top of her ground it's 15 minutes after 10. hallelujah she said she take her foot in her hand and she start run bless the name of jesus and she said while running she said me want the donkey because i know that my prime minister is going to give me the donkey Bless the name of Jesus. I'm saying that to say this. When you come to the house of the Lord, you say you want your miracle. Hallelujah. You say, Lord, I need something, but what are you doing to get it? Hallelujah, Jesus. And the story go on. She said when she was running, she saw a man on the road. And she said to the man, oh, far from whatever the man tell her. And she said, I never have on a breast here, but I want my breast and I start to run. She said, I want my donkey. She said, when she reached in the square, it was 11 o'clock. She said, somebody, somebody, sometime when you're about to get your blessing, some, some person dead here to block your blessing. She said, when she reached, somebody said to her, bless the name of Jesus. Don't you know that when you're about to get your blessing, some bless, some people were supposed to no want to get your blessing. Hallelujah. She said, the lady said to her, and where y'all gonna look so? You know so you're dirty. She said, listen, leave me alone. I'm a donkey, me want, and I'm a donkey, me come for me call the prime minister. Promise me the donkey. Bless the name of Jesus. And turn to the lady and said, you can't come your home to be a and come back. The lady said, no, I can't care. She said, leave me alone. Sometime when time you're coming to the house of the Lord, the devil want to block you because she, the devil know you're gonna get your blessing. But, but 
Jesus. Clean or not clean, the Prime Minister come to me donkey, and the donkey me want. And listen to me. The lady said, when can the Prime Minister come? The Prime Minister come not to give her the donkey, but the, the Prime Minister come to look at the house, house opening. And she says, Jesus. 
Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whenever time you come into the house of the Lord, it might not be prophetic house of worship, but just remember the story about the lady with the donkey. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because the devil knows that I put the yard get your blessing in on. So the devil makes sure you know that even if the very usher where you meet at the door way, the usher might have got you come and you come and see the usher face and you step down. Me now go up there because all the usher look for me. You've been defeated, baby. Hallelujah, Jesus. You need to know what you want. And if anything it takes to get what you want, and if me I go do. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm just here to say, push like the lady with the donkey. Push for what you want. Push to your circumstances. Push until you get a miracle. Hallelujah, Jesus. Welcome, Bishop, in Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, give God praise. Look at me. I'm a miracle. 